What's going on guys? John Lander here from CodeV.com and in this video, we're going to learn what to do with incomplete data in Pandas. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at incomplete data and what to do with it in our data frames with Pandas. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeV.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in pandas. In this video, we're going to look at what to do with incomplete data. Up until now, we've been using data that's pretty complete, but a lot of the times you're going to get a data set that has all kinds of garbage in it. And you're going to have to get rid of some of that garbage, remove it completely, maybe change it. That's what we're going to look at in this video getting rid of incomplete data and changing data. So let's head over to our Jupyter notebook. I've got our basic starter code of just imported pandas and numpy. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other panda videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's just very quickly create some dummy data. I'm just going to call it stuff. And we remember from earlier in the series, we can create a data frame just from a Python dictionary. So I'm just very quickly going to create a data frame. We're going to have a column of A, and it's going to have one, two, three in it. Let's have another column with called B. And B will have what four, five, and six in it. Very sophisticated data here. Let's have another one called C, and that'll be what, say seven, eight, nine. Sound good? And just for good measures, let's do a D, and that one will be 10, 11, and 12. So we can create a data frame out of this. Let's just call it my DF, because that seems to be what we call our data frames. And this is just going to be a PD dot data frame, and we want to pass in our stuff. Now, why PD? Because we imported pandas as PD up here. So I uh, probably want to spell stuff, right? And now if we want to actually view that, we could just my underscore DF and view this. And we've got this basic little set of data. Now, this is complete data, right? There's nothing missing out of here. So let's come through here and let's say column B, let's get rid of this five. And we can replace it with a, a NumPy function called NAN. And this will just give us null data, right? No data, basically, right? And you can see, we get this NAN, not a number, whatever, right? So uh, here we've got some data and well, it's incomplete. Let's say we want to get rid of this entire row that has this NAN in it. How do we do that? Well, we can use a function called drop NA. So let's come down here and let's my underscore DF dot drop NA. And it's a function. And when we run this, we see, boom, that entire row gets dropped. So we had a zero, one, two. Now we just have zero and two, that entire one has been dropped. So, okay, that's cool. Maybe you didn't want to get rid of the entire row. Maybe you wanted to get rid of the column. Well, we can come down here and call my underscore DF dot drop in a, and then if we shift tab, as we've done before, we can pull up sort of the, the kind of help file on here. And you can see there's this axis. We've dealt with axis before. The default is zero, which means row. If we want to change it to column, we could just set that axis equal to one. And if we do that, boom, now you see before column B had the null value in it. So A, B, C, D. Now we just have A, C, and D. It's dropped that entire column. So very cool. Now you can notice if we my underscore DF again and run this, our null value is back again. That's because just like everything we've done in pandas, if we want to make this permanent, we need to put it in place. So what you would do here is come up here. And then, you know, just give this an in place equal true if you wanted to make it permanent. I don't really want to do that just yet, but keep that in mind. Also, if you shift tab and pull up the sort of help file here, you'll see it has an in place thing in it. That's a, a dead giveaway that if you want to make it permanent, you need to use in place. So, okay, moving right along. Now, let's say we just have one thing that's null. A lot of times you're going to have a lot of things and you may want to get rid of all the null values. But you might want to get rid of all of the columns that only have two null values, all the rest you want to keep, or 10 null values, all the rest you want to keep. You know, if it has 11 null values, you want to keep it, or vice versa, if it has less than something, you want to keep it. Well, one way you could do that is set the threshold. So let's come up here to our B, and let's change this six also to np.nan. If we run this, you can see now this column has two null values. Well, Let's say we only want to get rid of something if it has two null values. Well, we could come down here and let's my underscore df dot drop in a, and we can set the thresh short for threshold to one. Now, if we do this, you see 
nothing has changed. We got to set the axis here. We want the columns. So let's go axis equals one. Again, nothing is going to change because this column has two. And we're setting the threshold at one. So if we want to remove things that only have at least two things, we would have to set the thresh to two. Now, if we do that, that B column disappears. So, you know, many times you might want, you know, if a thing has two things, get rid of it. If it only has one null value, you might want to keep it or whatever. That's a quick and easy way to sort of set a condition on which things get dropped and which don't. So, okay, very cool. Now that's dropping things. A lot of times you're just going to want to get rid of null data, right? Other times you may not want to get rid of it. You may want to change it to something else. How do we do that? Well, first, let's come back up here and let's get this get rid of this guy and, and change it back to six. So here our column is four, nan, and six. So we've only got one thing. What do we do if we want to change that to something? Well, we can use the fill na function. So let's go my underscore df dot fill na. And then here we can set the value. What do we want to set it to? And we can set this to anything we want. We can change it to Bob if we want, right? Kind of silly. Now it's four, Bob, and six. We can change it to a number. We can change it to, you know, 99. There we go. Anything you want, you can change it to. So that's cool. We can also do math values. So let's come down here and let's go my underscore df dot fill n a and let's set the value equal. Now we can designate specific ones as well. So we can go our my underscore df and then we want column B and we've got a four and a six. We might want to take the average of this column. So we can go dot mean and call the mean of that. And when we do that, we get four, five, and six. Very cool. We can use min or max if we wanted to. So let's grab this guy. And instead of getting the average, let's say we want the minimum. So now we get four, four, and six. Why? Well, because the minimum of, of this column is four. That's the lowest thing. We could also get the max, right? We know the max is six. So that will replace this null with a six. And we do that. So we could do all kinds of crazy things. We do the sum, right? So four plus six is 10, right? <laughs> Whatever you want, all the different math functions that come with pandas and NumPy and all that good stuff you can use there as well. Now, I'm not going to talk about what you should change your data to because, you know, it's just going to depend on what you're trying to do, what kind of data you have. There's entire statistical theories on, hey, what kind of things you should change your data to. That's way beyond the scope of this, you know, basic video. I just want to give you the basic tools on how to change them if you want to change them. What you change it to has got to be up to you and your boss and your company and your, you know, whatever you're trying to do with your data. And uh, maybe we'll get into that sort of thing in much, much future videos. But for now, this is a quick and easy way to change it or just get rid of it completely. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeby.com and I'll see you in the next video.